Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Kelsey. We are going into our sixth year of homeschooling with our 10 year old, six year old, and one year old. And today I'm going to be sharing with you our curriculum for our upcoming fifth grader. Okay guys, so if you have not seen our group subject video, I will link it right up here and down below but that will share all of the group subjects that we're doing, including things like social studies, science, Bible, all that good stuff. But today we are just gonna be talking about my fifth graders core subjects. So we are gonna start with math. So for math, we are gonna be going into BJU4. Um, we are also going to be doing teaching textbooks for. So my son has you know, he will get very frustrated. He's a bit of a perfectionist. He also has some neurodiversity. So we have noticed over the past couple of years that just using one math curriculum full time isn't always the best. We kind of hit a lull, you know, halfway through the year around Christmas and things like that. And so we will be doing BJU math four as our primary math. We've been using this for the past couple of years and he does really, really well with it. The way that they explain things is done in a way that he really understands and it has just enough repetition that he can really master the skill, but it's not so much that he gets bored with the repetition. So we love, love, love BJU math, but he's also going to be doing teaching textbooks for on occasion, just as kind of um, a fun way to switch things up. And he really loves teaching textbooks as well. Since he is getting really into decimals and fractions this coming year, I went ahead and got him some of these tiles from um, Rainbow Resource. So basically they have the decimal on one side and then they have the fraction or whole number on the other side. They have one fifth on one side and 0.2 on the other side. So I think he's a very visual, like kinesthetic tactile learner. So I think these are really gonna help him a lot. For spelling, we used sequential spelling last year and I was planning on just continuing into that, but honestly, he's not really a huge fan and I kind of needed some things that he could do more independently. Now that he kind of has, you know, like the core of spelling down and now he's just kind of learning words that aren't you know, don't follow specific spelling rules or maybe don't always follow rules. I just went ahead and picked him up this. I actually normally see this running from like 15 to $20 and I was able to grab it for $10. So I just went ahead and got it. If he doesn't like it, we might try Evan Moore spelling or they have sequential spelling online that he could do independently. So we'll see how it goes, but he's pretty excited about this. It's just got different things. The biggest thing for him is he does not like tests. He, again, he's a perfectionist, so he does not like learning wor a word list and, you know, having a test at the end of the week. Just him incorporating words in an everyday type of style, um, I think is going to be really good for him. This also works with things like synonyms and antonyms and vocabulary and all of that. So kind of all in one for that. So I'm really excited about this, but he is going to be doing IEW Structure and Style 1A. Last year we tried Bible Heroes. We only did it for a few months, but basically it was just to see how he liked it, if he enjoyed it. I actually haven't even opened this, so um, this is everything that it comes with. So he, we got the Forever Streaming. So Mr. Poudois is going to be teaching him this year. And um, so he's gonna be, like I said, he's gonna be doing the 1A. So this is good for like third to fifth graders, I believe. Since I was already getting this, I just decided to go ahead and get Fix It Grammar. This is one that we have not tried. I'm not sure, I'm, I think he'll like it. Basically you're just editing like a few sentences at a time and you're learning like one new skill every day or every couple of days and then you're just doing copy work. So um, I think that this is, going to be good for him. It's just something he can pull out and do independently, which is really what I needed this year. So I'm excited for him to try this. And we did get, we started with level one, the nose tree. And I believe this is the new versions of these, which have apparently been redone and are a much better version now. So excited to use this. Along with Fix It Grammar, I also went ahead and got the Fix It Grammar cards. I think they used to do this a different way and now they just make it in a card form. So you can just pull it out and use it when you need them. So if you saw my other video, you saw that we are going to be using the Heart of Dakota for our main 
like group text so for social studies and all of that um he we are using the bigger hearts for his glory which is designed for more like second or third graders with extensions for fourth to fifth graders so he is in fifth grade this year and my younger son is going into first grade so i just felt like this one was going to be good and i was a little bit worried about the um amount of reading uh because he that is something he struggles with is his ability to focus on that honestly that i could not find a lot of information out there about their extension package and i'm a little worried it's going to be too much for him um i have found a lot of these books in audiobooks either on hoopla or at the library or on youtube so i think if we hit kind of a patch where maybe he is kind of over reading so much i think they have to read two or three they have to read a certain amount from their history every day a certain amount from their science and then a certain amount from their uh re independent reading every day that's a lot of reading for him <laughs> honestly it really is um i'm a little nervous about it but i think if we can even just read a couple of these together a day and then he can do a little bit of independent reading a day or do an audiobook or something i think it will work out so for his social studies um extension he has this um a child story of america so they basically will just read like you know maybe a page or two out of this every day for their social studies and then they'll do an oral narration we also have the new americans colonial times again just like a page or two out of this and an oral narration for science, he's going to be using Exploring Planet Earth, The Journey of Discovery from Early Civilization to Future Exploration. So I think he's going to enjoy this science because he really does like learning about these types of things. But again, I'm just a little bit worried it's going to be all too much reading for him. So for the books he's going to be doing independently this year, he's going to be doing Pedro's Journal, Kahanis, Young Peacemaker, Almost Home. Ben and me, I think he'll be really excited about this. He loves Benjamin Franklin. Guns for General Washington. Tol Tolliver's, I think it's Tolliver's. Tolliver's Secret, Buffalo Knife. Once on this Island. The Story of Harriet Tubman, Freedom Train. By the Great Horn Spoon. The Story of Thomas Alva Edison. There was also a book that they said to use for the extension package. It was called Bud and Me. It was like a $25 book. I could not find it used anywhere. I got everything else used. And there was no way I was going to pay $25 for a book that he may or may not want to read. So um, we're just going to skip that one. We have plenty of other books that we're reading this year, I promise. There was also another one, Esper, I think it's Esperanza Rising. And they have that at our library. So I didn't worry about buying it. So I wanted to mention what Liam is going to be doing for copy work. He actually has not finished his cursive um, Bible verses. He, We did go ahead and purchase The Good and the Beautiful Level 3 at the beginning of last year. So he finished that about mid-year and then he started the cursive copy work one. He's not fully done with that. Once he finishes that, our Heart of Dakota, um, you can get on their Facebook page. A lot of people have already taken the liberty to create uh, copy work sheets um, in cursive and in print. So both of my boys can work on those. And so that's kind of what we're going to be doing for copy work and handwriting this year. Okay, guys, that is everything that my fifth grader is going to be using for his core subjects. It seems like I didn't cover a whole lot, but that's because most of it is going to be in our group subjects as well. Make sure you are subscribed so you can check out my first graders video next week. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know down in the comments what you are using for your fifth grader. If you have a fifth grader, if you're looking forward to fifth grade, just let me know. Uh, I love having chats with you guys down in the comments, especially about homeschool curriculum. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.